jump into some of the meat. So why would you want to do video, all right? Um, and a lot of this is gonna be very sort of marketing heavy, right? So like, how are you communicating your design, right? And why would you wanna do that? So what are the purposes and how could video be used? So some of the first ones is obviously, you know, the money comes from business development or marketing, where's the budget coming from? And so we want to get some new clients, right? That's like, you need work, right? Got work, how do you get work? Video is an extremely powerful <coughs> medium, right? It's a soft sell, so it can live on your website 24 seven, it's online, it's shareable. They can be looking at it while lying in bed, because someone's like, oh, check out this architect, here's a little video, I'll send you a link to it, right? Instead of clicking through a whole bunch of images, right? You control the story in the video. Now, it's not guaranteed they're gonna stay there the whole time, right? But as in your photographs, you don't know how they're going to interact with your photographs. You don't know the, sh the moment to moment experience that they're having with your photos, right? So a video, you press play, they're watching that video. So it's a very, very precious, uh, specific experience. And you have so much more control over this compared to sort of standard text or photography. Um, you know, so it can, it can showcase and communicate your work. Um, architects love to talk about process. What is their process? Um, how unique, potentially, is their process? Um, culture is another one, right? You might want to sell sort of the, you, the sort of vibrant culture that is in your office, your own design process, and how that culture affects the, um, the designs that you come up with. And, you know, everyone enjoys video. I mean, old to young, right? It's not just a young person's format, or medium. Um, everyone enjoys it, they get it, they're used to it. Um, and it's just only increasing more and more. So client acquisition. The next big one, um, if you were owning your own company, um, or if you were, um, you know, further on down the line and uh, had enough stake in a certain firm, you might want, you know, talent is, talent is the end all be all. Um, if you don't have smart people working for you and versatile people working for you, then your firm is sort of a one-trick pony. And if you, know, if you don't get enough of that work, you dry up and you close. So it's the same, it's both acquiring new talent and at the same time creating something that will retain the current talent that you have. So there's a lot of video work that we do for, like we've done a, a bunch of stuff for like Gensler. And no one's ever seen that besides if you work at Gensler. They just post it, they spend you know, tens of thousands of dollars on videos that only are for use internally that is completely about perpetuating and collecting the culture of Gensler. Um, Gensler has an issue because, you know, how many offices they have? Dozens and dozens and dozens. So keeping some sort of consistency across the entire network is, uh, is very difficult um, at that scale. Um, so both attracting and retaining, same as I said before, it's 24 seven, it's out there always. Um, it's a great way for an applicant to find out about your firm without having to sort of know someone directly in your office or finding them through LinkedIn or whatever, right? So it's a great, amazing, powerful way to showcase and communicate your work, your process, or your culture. So talent. Um, the other aspect of video, which um, you know, is something that we're still trying to push and make more um, prevalent in the work that we do um, with the architectural community is to make the videos more personable, visceral, and memorable. And what I mean by that is developing the the narrative so that you know your audience member is doing a little bit more than just watching and learning about a project or learning about your firm, but maybe having some sort of engagement with this piece beyond that. So did they laugh? Is there anything comedic in this? Um, you know, probably not too many videos you want to do as an as a, as a office or an architect to make people crack up. Um, but, I mean, there, there are examples of sort of comedic plays on architectural um, processes that can engage an audience in a very different medium than just doing um, the straightforward, uh, purely artistic piece, right? There's a time and place for both. Um, but video allows you to have a much deeper engagement with your viewer. Um, the ability to communicate tone and narrative um, through narrative, through music, through the shot selection is extremely visceral and, and is, is much more memorable and stays with your, with your audience, with your viewer much longer. So engagement is key. 
shareable. Um, so videos are ubiquitous, right? They're everywhere. The AEC, which is the architecture engineering construction industry, is light years behind everything else, right? We're like 10 years later. We, we catch up to everything. We're super delayed. Um, you know, print publications are way ahead of us, and you know, they're dinosaurs. So um, this industry is very slow to adapt this medium. Um, and that there's a whole other slew of reasons of obviously why that's the way it is, because architects don't really make that much money, and our budgets are squeezed. So um, there's other ways to talk about financing a project, which I'll get into a little bit later. But because video is so ubiquitous online, um, and it's, these are sort of statistics that are sort of like no-brainers, but it's always good to just sort of realize like how effective and powerful video is as far as its shareability um, and getting your message out there. So, you know, 19% of what's being shared on social media is video, which, you know, isn't super high, but it's a, it's a pretty nice chunk. 70% of business-to-business -business marketers already use video. So everyone that's out there trying to get work from each other, right, which is what architects do, you're getting work from another business, 70% of people are already using it. Um, videos are three times more likely to get inbound links than text, so that means an inbound link is, you know, clicking on something and coming back to your website, which is what you want to generate, because that's where all of the rest of your, you know, visuals are, your text that describe you. So if someone watches a video, and it's embedded on someone's random website, oh, check out this firm that did this really cool whatever, they're 70 cent more or sorry, three times more likely to come back to your website after watching that video than if they just read some text about it. Um, and, and obviously the sort of mobile explosion, um, audience is three times more likely to uh, view a video as, uh, as opposed to desktop viewers. So as we get more and more mobile, more and more people have been using uh, video on, on mobile devices. So, you know, this is where the current's going. This is not new news. You know, I usually just bring this up to sort of alert the crowd again that this is what's occurring. Um, I'm gonna get into sort of a little bit of a case study at the end of here, but in when I talk about distribution, but the analytics and metrics in the back end of video is just insanely powerful information. Um, you can know where people are watching it, where they're coming from. Um, somewhat similar to what you can do with your website uh, analytics. Um, but it gives you such amazing power to find out where people are watching your content. And what's great about video, which separates it from text and photo photos, is that you post the video in one location and you can potentially post it in multiple spots if you're intelligent about it. Um, but all of that data is collected into a single place, right? This is a, some thumbnails I've shown from YouTube. So. No matter who takes your video and posts it somewhere else and displays it on their blog or is watching it on their mobile phone on Facebook, all of that information is being tied back to a single location for your metrics. So where are people watching my video? This is a way to find out where new clients could be online, physically and potentially digitally. So it's extremely powerful to just dig back and find out where these people are watching this content. Um, and yeah, it's live, trackable. Um, super detailed, I'll get into that a little bit later. And then search engine optimization, so I was in my class yesterday and I was like, SEO, and I was like, you guys, and I got some looks, and I'm like, wait, so you guys designed by SEO, and they didn't know what SEO meant. So um, search engine optimization, which is basically how effective your content is, is going up the search rates, right? So, you know, as an architect, you're probably not gonna get a job from somebody searching, you know, uh, healthcare designer, Minneapolis, uh, you know, some neighborhood, you know, that's probably not how you're going to get someone from a healthcare institution finding your firm name. Um, but um, it is a way potentially if you're doing residential architect for someone that's looking for a residential architect in a certain area, or if your information or content is tagged correctly, your videos and your photographs are rising up the search engine optimization so that, that that content is being viewed at the top when someone searches that. Everything is Google, right? And Google is basically keywords. Those keywords that your potential clients, potential you know, new hires are typing in is what you need all of your content to have plastered everywhere. You need to tag it, it needs to be in the text, it needs to be embedded in the photographs, it needs to be in the video, right? And those keywords are, this, are the, the core statements that you're using to differentiate yourself amongst your competition. So SEO, um, 
and, and video basically, you know, these stats explain, video just explodes your likelihood to, to raise up the rankings. Um, so that's sort of some of the quick reasons why you might want to look at video if you were practicing architecture or had an office.